All right, everybody, it is Radio Row continuing on here, Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day, Ross Jackson, host of Locked On Saints, and I am joined by Chris Titone, the writer of Home Team, the number one movie two weeks in a row What's up, on Netflix. How are you, man? Thanks. I'm uh, fantastic. My, new, my movie's number one, man. I'm so happy to be here with you. Dude, I am so, so glad to be able to talk to you. I watched the movie the day that it released. We were in Mobile, Alabama. That was you? Yeah, that was me. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it immediately, uh, me and a couple other folks in Saints Media. Absolutely loved it. Such a fun film. What was this like for you, This the process of getting to this point to where you landed the number one movie on Netflix? First of all, thank you for the praise. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the view. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, my girlfriend, Megan Payton, Sean's mm-hmm. daughter, uh, did an NFL Network piece, a, a five-minute short on, you know, everyone knows that Sean Payton got suspended for a year, but mm-hmm. what did he do with that year off? What yep. did he do with it? And what he did was he went back to his hometown and he coached his son's 12-year-old football team. I, she made that piece. It was great. She, mm-hmm. uh, she sent it to me. I sent it to Sandler. Sandler mm-hmm. called me and said, write that movie, dude. You have to write that movie. That's a movie. So That's I called awesome. my writing partner, Keith Blum. We mm-hmm. wrote it up. I said, listen, we wrote it for Kevin James. Give it to him. He's going to say no. We have a second and a third in mind. And Kevin said yes. We couldn't believe Amazing. it. Kevin Amazing. said yes two months later. We're shooting. And then, yeah, you know, we, we thought we'd be in the top ten maybe. Mm-hmm. We thought... All right, maybe we'll hit number seven, uh-huh. even number one for two weeks. It's bananas. I don't know what's happening. That's amazing. That's amazing. And and uh, here's to three weeks and four weeks and Thank five you, weeks, sir. right? That's what, we're, that's what we're hoping for here. I have to ask you, I assume this is a shot-for-shot shot documentary of Sean Payton's It's time. literally an exact story of what 100%. happened. No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> it's Happy Madison. We had, I had fun with it. Yeah. You know, me and Keith, we... we we learned the story. We could have shot the documentary. Uh, but, no, we wanted to have a lot of fun with it. There's yeah. there's a lot of stuff that didn't happen. Yeah. The you know, logs. There's a lot of stuff that did. Oh, the, the logs super happened? logs? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. We won't go into detail because you haven't seen it yet, but the logs. You know what? We actually wrote that scene mm-hmm. without even knowing this. And, and Sean, I told him, I'm like, by the way, we wrote, like, a throw-up scene. Uh-huh. And he was like, one kid threw up once. And I was like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Entry. Okay. Entry point. Yeah. That's outstanding. Great. That's awesome. So let's talk. Okay. So that relationship with Sean Payton, how involved was he in the process? Well, you know, I'm, I'm dating his daughter and I'm probably going to be married to her. So Congratulations. I, I didn't, thank you. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't want to be across Thanksgiving dinner table five years from now and have him hate me. So right. I gave him script approval. I, I literally gave him the script and I said, hey, anything you don't want in here, mm-hmm. take out. Anything you want to add, let's add. I'm, yeah. I'm in, man. That's and awesome. All he, did, he changed like two things. That weren't he, he essentially said like that's not how that happened, man. Mm-hmm. Like let's just make it let's make it more real. He wanted yeah. it as real as possible. That's awesome. And it was how how real was or what was the attention to detail when it came to the actual conversation around football, the verbiage, the the the, the terminology. Did you guys work with an advisor for that or yeah, anything? Yeah, Mark Ellis. Mark Ellis, awesome. who um, he's the top uh, uh, financial. Or, I'm sorry, football coordinator in the business. He mm-hmm. did any given Sunday. Yeah. He did the bigs that's awesome and adam was like hey man i really want that stuff to be on so we we hired mark ellis the man and he was he was running the set at times man this guy that's cool he's he's a normal he's a coach everyone calls him coach ellis he speaks three times the volume that he needs to (laughs) just so everyone can learn because i want when i correct you i want everyone Everyone. else to learn (laughs) he's great though he's a nice guy that's awesome how was working with one of my favorite sort of guys to have watched started with the I, first I saw him was the Old Spice commercials and then moving Isaiah on up Mustafa. Isaiah Mustafa How, what was that like working with him because he was fantastic in this movie that guy's a really good actor he was awesome no, like, no, no, what but, a great antagonist but no no joke like that guy might win Oscars one day <laughs> like he's really that's awesome. good that's and awesome I, I would be there he's funny too I would yeah. be there punching up his stuff yeah and um, he would have more on top of it mm. like there's a mm-hmm. line in the movie I don't know if I'm not allowed to tell you lines yeah, in the movie yeah, yeah. but uh, Whatever you're comfortable Where with. he says, uh, oh, you got adjustments, Sean. Oh, you got adjustments. Yeah. And I said, you know what? Say at the end of that, uh, I- I'm an adjustable chair. I can adjust too. Oh, and then he went to, yes. And yeah. I, he does that. Yeah, I'm an adjustable chair. I, I, I can adjust too. I'm a lazy boy. <laughs> and he added the lazy boy. Right. That's him. Yeah. He gets credit for that one. That's awesome. He was so fun to watch. The energy that he brought. The energy that the kids brought too. How excited were they to be a part of all this? Man, they were, they were pumped. Yeah. They were pumped. Yeah, Tate did great. Uh, Max, who plays my son in the mm-hmm. movie, that mm-hmm. kid's going to be Chris Farley. That kid is 
hilarious. That's awesome. yeah. He is on between action and cut. Uh -huh. He's he's up there with like a, a current SNL cast member. That's so good. He's That's just so good. he's just lasered in, man. I I love seeing films like this to where there's so much fun. Mm -hmm. It's just jovial. It's a great thing, but it's such a real story at the same time too. There's this sentimental connection between a father and a son, and the disconnect that can happen in terms of distance and yeah. you know, prioritizing work and all that. How much did it mean to you to be able to tell that side of the story in the midst of this? I mean, I think any hardworking parent, father or mother, mm -hmm. feels like they don't spend enough time with their kid. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you you, it's that battle between being ambitious at work or spending time with your kid. And you know, no one's doing it right. And You're if right. you do, <laughs> give me, you know, give me the blueprint. Right. And you know, I I wanted to write that story. And really, when Keith and I wrote it, we didn't want it to be just a, a comedy. We actually wrote it as a drama. And oh. then added the jokes because nice. we wanted a real movie underneath. That's yeah. the foundation. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I can put on YouTube and, and watch those kids, you know, slap each other on the butt. <laughs> and we didn't want that. We wanted right. a real movie that would make you maybe cry and yeah. then add a bunch of jokes to it and then add Kevin James to it. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, go big. And how was? I mean, Kevin James performing as Sean Payton. I thought he was a lot of fun. He was great. It's how did he? How was he like slipping into that role? Because he seemed awesome. He he did his homework. Yeah. You know, he didn't want to show up and be like, who's like Sean that? Payton? Yeah. <laughs> he did his homework. He wanted video. Yeah. He wanted audio from actual Sean. Sean's got a weird accent because, yeah. you know, as you rise in the ranks of coaching, every, mm -hmm. like, year and a half, you got to you gotta move. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, from so this coach to this up. coach. So his, his accent is so rare. I mean, he's the only one with it. Right. So he was having me have Sean read into a phone uh, lines. Uh -huh. And then he would practice, practice, practice. I mean, he he really, really dove into this character. Did you also participate at all in the the FaceTime promo for the movie with the retiring? I did. Thing that was fantastic, I did. I, and that I felt like that came it. out of you yeah. know that came up quick, right? That was that was me and the Canane brothers who also uh -huh. directed the movie, and uh, they had a draft that they really liked, mm -hmm. and then I got in there and I made a couple punch ups. Kevin made a couple punch ups, and then Sean. Did a couple punch-ups. <laughs> I shot Sean's side. Yeah. They shot KJ's side. And, you know, uh, uh, John Kinane, the little, uh, the smallest one, the CGI yeah. one, who's yeah. very talented, yeah. he joined him up. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Look, this has been fantastic. The movie is Home Team. It's on Netflix. Number one movie over the last two weeks. Go and check it out. Make sure it's three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. You're gonna, you might see a familiar face in there as well. Lots of good stuff in there. Uh, Chris, one last thing before we fully wrap up. What? You've got more on the way, right? You don't have to go into specifics, but I want people to be excited when they see this yeah. to know that you've got other stuff uh, coming up. Keith and I, my, my writing partner, are writing a new movie. It's called What's Up, Guys. Actually, it's pronounced What's Up, Guys. <laughs> and it's about social media. It's got to be. Probably, I knew yeah. It. yeah, it's got to be. That's <laughs> awesome. Chris Titone, make sure you go and check out the movie. Such a pleasure to be here with Thanks, you, Thanks, man. man. Thanks, dude.